this, Medusa has always been a favorite of mine. Happy I finally got to create a look for the character. So let's get into it. Started with gluing those brows down using the ever so popular glue stick method. Prep my skin with NYX Professional Makeup Angel Veil Primer. After that, grab the Mayron Paradise Paint in white and draft it out where the separation will be. Then with NYX White SFX Cream, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that onto the snake side. This will act as a base for the eyeshadows to adhere better. The first color is the Collective Cosmetic shade Helianthus. Applied it around the eyes, neck, and collarbones. And a few other high points on the face. Moving on to the Collective Cosmetics shade in Clara. Using the same brush, because I'm not concerned about the colors mixing. Going around all the yellow and blending it out. These are the two lightest shades I'll be using, so I'm covering a lot of area so that the final look won't end up too dark or muddy. Back in with the yellow to soften those blends and lighten up some of the green. On to the Collective Cosmetics color, Ginny. This is from their limited Fall For Us collection. Using the shade as a contour and to create a snake-like brow. Now with King, another Fall For Us color. Applying this to really carve out the brow and cheekbone area. Also down the neck and under the jaw. Then with the Collective Cosmetics Limited Shade Screen Aubergine, which to be honest is probably one of my new favorite colors. Purple and sparkles, what else could you ask for? Going to use this as the darkest shade. Next, gonna take the Collective Cosmetics Magic Pill and add that onto some of the larger areas just to help really tie in the green into the darker purples that we applied. Jump back into the brighter green Clara and soften some of those blends. Also back to the yellow to brighten up some areas. With the Collective Cosmetics Medalla Effect Palette, I'm gonna take the shade Clone and shade the crease in the outer corner of the eye, also applying it to the lower lash area. Now going to create a cut crease with NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer in Light. Then apply the Collective Cosmetics color Helianthus over top. And blend it in under my eyes. Also ramp up the pigment at the forehead, chin, and upper lip. Back to the Mayron Paradise White to fill in the remaining area of the skin. Also making sure to keep jagged edges along the snake side so the stone looks like it's broken away. Going over a few times to get the opacity I want. Then switch to the Mayron Star Blend in Monster Gray and start the textures in the marble. Starting with a fluffy brush for soft, broad areas then switching to a narrow brush to add more texture and darken some random areas. I did use a marble reference for this step. Added shadows to the edge of the marble with the monster gray, only this time I'm applying it wet. Also added some texture and squiggly lines to the gray portions. Using Mayron Star Blend in black, outline the edge of the marble. I do apply it wet to get it nice and dark. Also add it to some of the cracks. With a smudge brush, apply the black color dry to get softer shadows along the marble. This will give it a nice 3D effect. Lightly shade it along the stone with the monster gray so that my highlights will pop better. Go in and add some highlights with the white Mayron along the edge of the gray areas of the marble.
went back in with the black Neron and intensified the shadow on the snake. Also added some shapes to mimic the jagged marble edges to give more appearance that the stone is casting a shadow over the face. Now to add some metallic accents. I used Mayron metallic powder in gold and their mixing liquid. Painted in some random sizes and thicknesses of striations over the stone area. Then switch to the Mayron metallic color bronze and their mixing liquid and start creating scale textures. Do this by creating large cross hatching. After that, painted up my hair with the white Mayron. Throw in one green contact, and then on the snake side, using NYX Professional Makeup, Jumbo Eye Pencil, and Black Bean on the lower lash line and outer parts of the eye. Then pressed in some black Mayron to set the cream. Grab the Collective Cosmetics, the Mandala Effect Palette, again, using the shade Bright in the inner corners of the eye. Next, I use the Collective Cosmetic Highlighter, Moonlight Morgue. Side note, this is a promo packaging, that's why it's in an eyeshadow pan and not in a proper compact. Applied this to all the high points of the face and yellow areas. Then with a small brush, put the highlighter on the scales. Now with Spring Healed, another Collective Cosmetics Fall For Us collection color. Blend along under the eye and along the forehead ridge and create segments for the underbelly detail on the neck. Did the lips with the Collective Cosmetic, Lip Lacquer, and Winifred. Also added some Moonlight Morgue to the center of the bottom lip. Then taped on some paper snakes I painted ahead of time. Using the black Mayron to intensify the shadows so the snakes look more like they're coming out from underneath the stone. With a wet brush, line the marble with the black. Added some soft highlights under a couple snakes so they look more like they're casting a shadow. Using the white Mayron to add some brighter highlights along the cheek and forehead ridges. Also added thin highlights in the middle of the Moonlight Morgue parts of the scales. Made sure to add some outside of the drawn scales to give an illusion that the scales are continuing. put in a white contact and finish cleaning up around my eyes. Added a little more gold to tie it all in. Then you're all done. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed this look. If so, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.